Bourbon Knights. Hello, welcome in everybody. That's Chad. I'm Sarah. Yeah. Happy, if it's your uh, first time, Sunday to you all here. We'll uh, kind of wait as people are shuffling in. They're coming through the door, the digital door. So. Oh, I kind of wish. Wave at them. I could hear that AOL instant messenger AIM. The oh, little the creak. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Gosh, that would be so many creeks. <laughs> At least so, I hope. So many creeks. So many creeks. Um, yeah, tonight we're doing uh, a theme about outside of Kentucky. Uh, I want to get us ramping back up uh, to this goal of having a bourbon from all 50 states. Oh, like a what's the best? Mm -hmm. like a so, declared. Yeah, so tonight's just a little bit of a of the ones that we have selected here. Does the chat think that we have the best representation? If not, what do uh, we need? And like, admittedly for Texas, I just chose one that we hadn't had before. I, I don't know. I if... did see someone in, in our Instagram <laughs> messages replied and was like, I think this might be my least favorite offering from Texas. And I was like, well, um, we haven't had well, it before. We haven't tried it, so we'll give it a try and yeah. we'll see. So that's just sort of the standing in for Texas. There's obviously a There's lot more of, to choose from. A lot more to choose from. But, but how will we know what's the best? to try something from Texas. Um, the other ones are a little bit more, li you know, um, slimmer pickings, as they say. Right. But Some states don't have that much to choose from, mm -hmm. but, you know, like choosing the best one from Kentucky is obviously going to be quite the task. Also Tennessee, also Indiana. Like, right. that stretch of that three states is going to be really tough. And then outside of that, like, yeah, Texas, we just said, has a lot of offerings, too. Not as much as those three, but it gets a little harder. But we yeah. do have one. You know, from Hawaii here. Thanks to Don Nishida, who's, you, Don. who is in here in the, chat. in the chat. So I think we have enough people in the chat now. I kind of wanted to give people some some time to come in. Um, unfortunately, I hate to start off the stream with some uh, sad, news, sad news, but we we have lost one one of our own. Um, we got an email uh, just, earlier this morning. Yeah, earlier this morning about this. So uh, someone that we. We met at uh, Bourbon on the Banks. As, yeah, various events, but Bourbon various on the events. Banks. Various events. Well, that's where the uh, picture was taken. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are dedicating tonight's stream to Ron Carr, who uh, unfortunately has uh, passed away has this passed, weekend. Passed away. Yeah. Um, and we have this photo of yeah. us from Bourbon on the Banks with his Bourbon Night shirt on. Oh, gosh. I'm going to make myself cry. <laughs> Woo. Uh, and then some kind words yeah. that his daughter shared with us. Um, she wrote us to let us know of his passing and uh, said that he um, he was a dedicated fan of ours and loved to support our show and love of bourbon. He called us the kids and when they were not allowed to call or visit him on Sunday nights after 8 p.m. because he would be watching. And that yeah. just, you know, I mean, I know we don't know, like, all of the people, all of you faces out there on the other side of this screen on the internet. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah. you know, it's I, made me tear I, up. I, 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 I do want to call out, I made a mistake. I just noticed on um, the date, it was September 8th. Oh, uh, September 8th. September you put, 8th, yeah. I don't know. So apologies I, for that. Yeah, we obviously that. made it. In, just, ha in haste. Uh, yeah, I made it um, about an hour ago. So I just, just noticed that. My apologies. Uh, but he passed away on September 8th. Uh, made it into Bourbon Heritage Month. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, you know, I think we, this is our thing. You know, we do it every day. And we sometimes forget that there are people, I mean, I don't know. I don't, we forget that there are people who look forward to this, who feel that way about our content and us. And to have someone reach out and say that means a lot to us. And I just feel really honored to have been a part of a small part, even of yeah. his life and a small part of all of your lives who give up your Sunday night. And I know you don't see it that way, but you give us part of your day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, it really means a lot. So thank you all. And this, this one's for Ron. Yeah. Cause you know, if this means anything, it's you pour that nice pour, mm -hmm. hug your friends and family a little tighter um, don't wait to open up that bottle. Don't wait to open up that bottle. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah. Exactly. So we have uh, one of our favorites. It's the 2020 version of the Four Roses LE, small batch LE. Uh, this is, I think, the one that won it for us in 2020. I believe that's correct. Yeah. 
I'm like, I gotta pull myself together because <laughs> people are gonna think that I'm just gonna cry on every episode now. I think I've cried on like the last two or three. <laughs> yeah. Not much, but just yeah. enough. So, cheers to you, Ron. Um, it's only fitting that, you know, you make it onto our live um, that you watched so often. So mm -hmm. it's only just a fitting tribute to uh, give you um, not a final cheers, but to one of, I'm sure, many that will be happening a toast um, to you. Over, yeah. over the next few days and weeks and years. So <clears throat> cheers to you, buddy. It was great to meet you. To Ron. good <laughs> it is good that is good <clears throat> so uh you know it's sad but also we want to celebrate right so right that's well we should celebrate life yeah that we still have and the bourbon that we all love the bottles that we still all have yet to drink yeah. and again as we said you know these are times when you are reminded to not necessarily wait always to drink something that's yeah. good yeah. and that's what freddie johnson will tell you too um mm -hmm. but yeah and you know awkward transition but again like you said it, it's like you know we don't want i feel like he would want as someone who loved our lives would want us to have a good a good fun a good live, live. where everybody's yeah. into it and we're, yeah. we're loving it so yeah. that's what we're gonna do um yeah yeah okay okay so, <laughs> <laughs> right, I know. Awkward transition. Please, please forgive us. There's um, no way, there's no real way to transition. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about this? I'll, I'll give us uh, a couple minutes off screen because we do want to play um, our live of picking the names for tickets for uh, Bourbon on the Banks. Oh, okay, sounds yeah. good. We have that. So what we did is we uh, did that drawing as a unlisted live. And then the plan was then to make it listed. Mm. And then we just forgot to make it listed. <laughs> so I just downloaded the video and put it in here. So this is was filmed live. Filmed in front of a live studio audience of us two. Of us two. But yeah. we did record it so um, that no one could say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here are the winners for um, Bourbon on the Banks tickets coming up. Right, so uh, we didn't have live this weekend because it was uh, Labor Day, which means we didn't get a chance to draw our Bourbon on the Banks tickets winners. So what you see here is all of the names, and we're going to go down here and draw two sets tickets. Let's do the first one. Ryan! And Brian. Ryan and Brian. Those are our two sets of winners. Oh, two sets of winners there. So there we go, Ryan and Brian. Congratulations. We'll reaching out to you. And uh, thanks, everybody. There we go. There we go. So Brian and Brian. Ryan and Brian. <laughs> Brian and Ryan. There was some like 90s movie that had a main character named like Ryan Brian or Brian Ryan or something like that. It was like one of those, you know. Blah, blah, blah. No, like romantic comedies. It's, it wasn't like she's all that jerk. or anything. But yeah, it was Ryan Bryan or something. I don't know. Somebody's got to mm. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. This so. Is, okay, but admittedly, it's going to be very hard to go oh, anywhere yeah. from this well, Four Roses uh, that's okay. Ellie. But that's okay. It is appropriate. Mm. Okay, you're really enjoying that. Yeah, very good, very good. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, thanks for... For all the support there in the chat and the cheers and the cheers yeah. to Ron. Very um, kind. We should probably go in proof order, and, and I didn't really look to see. I know Don said this one's kind of a lower proof. Uh, this one's 88 proof, so even if it's not the absolute lowest, it's probably one of the lowest. So we should probably start we'll start there. Start here uh, with... Uh, oh, with... I, I want that... Other Kings County bottle. I I, I know. But you knew I was gonna say yeah. that. Where is it? It's in there. Oh, I want that one. Yeah, this is the bottled and bond. This is the bottled and bond. Um, we were at um, Whiskey Weekend, and oh gosh, their name is on the bottle, and I cannot remember off the top of my head. But a very generous, who I believe are patrons, um, had brought this bottle of the Kings County, and it was like a black on black label, mm -hmm. and it was so. I think it was like a malty, chocolatey. Gosh, it was so good, yeah. and it's in there. Why didn't you grab it? Well, I, I, I can. Do you even know me? I can stand up. It is permitted. Uh, they actually like that. It's true. It's so, they just want to see your butt. 
Kupu? Don. Kupu, Don? Give us the uh, phonetic. Aged on the slopes of... K-U-P-U. I mean, that makes sense. Hela... Hela Kala? Mm-hmm. Hela... Hey... Nope. Hela Kala... Lika... Le. No. Oh, wow. This is just like... We should do a Hawaiian <laughs> <laughs> pronunciation <laughs> video like with Roy. Like with Roy, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, this is actually uh, from Maui. From Maui? Yeah, let me pull up a little bit of info on this. Where'd you go? Yeah, here we go. Uh, the Maui Brewing Company. Okay. Yeah, and um, also, uh, we were, we're a little late late to this. Apologies, Don. I was going to ask about, it's in Maui, so is it okay? <clears throat> I... Uh, I believe so because this um, this GoFundMe that Don shared with us and that's linked in the description. It is yes, it is for a local friend who had uh, the bar manager of uh, Pacifico on the beach, the um, that was completely lost to the fires. Mm. And there is a GoFundMe. It is currently funded. So, but I mean, to, I'm sure to your discretion if you, if you know of other places. I, I guess basically we're just saying please. Donate if you have it in your means. If you feel so inclined. Um, if you feel so inclined, and you know that it is a reputable uh, place to donate. Mm -hmm. You know, I know mm -hmm. there's a lot of controversy right now going around with the whole Oprah and the Rock well, thing, and we'll just leave um, that one alone. All, all that jazz, yeah. but you know, GoFund, we always GoFundMe do a, is obviously. We just do we do our research. Yeah. You know. Uh, I think it said this this place had 45 employees, and it would all 100% go to those those 45. Um, employees there. Mm. So that is in the description, the link for that. Um, but yeah, he showed us a before and after and it's just wow. like, wow. So, uh, <laughs> anyway. What was the giggle about? <laughs> I feel like... like you're just like uncomfortable with the he heaviness of today's news. Uh, uh yeah. Chad's a, Chad likes to keep things lighter. Like yeah, when yeah. we go to choose a movie, I'm like, let's watch something dark and twisted and depressing. And Chad's like, I was thinking a comedy. A comedy? No. Um, <laughs> not that I'm saying I love, but I just, you know, yeah. I think he he prefers things on the lighter side. So well, that was a lot for you. I think that yeah. was just a nervous laugh. It was. So <laughs> Kupu. I don't know if John uh, Don ever uh, weighed in. Just almost call him John. Yes. Um, and he says they are okay, so that's good. But obviously, good. You know, in need of assistance still. Yes. As many are. So I'm scrolling back. I don't think I don't know if Don. I don't know in. if he did. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We're gonna go with Kupu. Okay, Kupu. So until corrected, that's what we will be going with. <clears throat> yes. Which I have. I got and a lot, he of, says lot that's, of different information. Uh, okay. Well, it's what? gone. You know, it's already too late. It's gone. I can't. It's okay. He just said that this place that we couldn't pronounce was the volcano on the island. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't know what you're doing. You're driving. So I don't know where. I'm just along for the ride. I got a lot of right there. A lot of windows. I do. I see that. Yeah. You have a lot of windows going on. Or the big volcano on Maui. Okay. Gotcha. Um, now I'm going to my. We are uncultured, and I apologize. <laughs> my information here. Okay. Did, did my research for once here, folks, on a live. So this is a whiskey that is distilled from a blend of corn, rye, and malted barley. <laughs> then aged in... Don't be sassy. Uh, just everyone says that, though. Everyone's He's like, like for ours. Oh, wow, no, no, Chad. No, no, no. Wow. Then aged in new chard. <laughs> An exceptional uh, expression of caramel vanilla. We'll see about that. Uh, those are just tasty notes. I don't want to know that. I don't want to know tasty notes. But yeah. it's 88 proof. Okay. Mm, there's no age statement, but it must must mean it's over four. I don't know. I don't see one on here. So I don't either. I'm Wait, thinking... what's on the neck? Nope, nothing. Nope. Um, it says it won the silver medal at the 2022 San Francisco Spirits World Championship like in the that. whiskey category. Island distilled. What does that mean? We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say anything about that. So... This is in the running for potentially representing Hawaii, if, 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 if we and the chat, if we and those who have oh, had I got it the name would correct. agree. All right, it's okay, cool. great. I was like, I don't see how we could be messing this up, mm -hmm. but you know, it's I'm four letters. Honest. It's four letters. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past us. Whoa, that's got a really strong T note, lemon tea. Hmm. 
I mean, that straight up tastes like lemon tea. Like maybe spiked tea. It tastes like spiked tea. Yeah. And he says it's about 40 bucks. Ooh. It's so light. That is, I would call this a very good summer whiskey. Oh, yeah. Like, well, this is a beach whiskey I right mean, here. it's a beach whiskey, yeah. Wow. wow. Mm. Oh, I'm I'm into it. I'm into it, too. It's um, it's like light, honey, yeah. Yep. Into floral, herbal tea notes, mm -hmm. but not um, herbal like how sometimes we would say about like a, a rye. rye. No. Yeah, it's, it's just very mild and delicate, but it still has flavor. Uh, so Terrence here says, evening all, first live stream viewer. I've uh, been watching Terrence. your content since Matt Badness. Really enjoy you both. Thank well, you so thank much, you, Terrence. Terrence. We really appreciate you hopping in. Welcome on in. Make yourself comfortable. This has been not the normal content, but <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We're glad to have you. Mm. Oh, I like this. It's got like on the finish too, it's just very subtle warm spices. Yeah. And oh, actually it just 88, lingers. 88 mm -hmm. proof, it's a decent little hug. It, it's got a little, yeah. Look, and this is coming off. A little pat. <laughs> yeah, a little pat, a little Hawaiian aloha. Oh no, um, a little aloha. And this yeah. is coming off of a, you know, a 2024 Rose's LE. I so. know. <laughs> I would think that like, it's not being in my absolutely mind, crushed. it might just, anything coming after it might just taste like, not water, but you know, it might just taste mm. watered down or whatever, but no, this is holding yeah. up. Honey, oranges, tea. I'm no. very, uh, yes. very impressed with this. Like this a lot. Same. How fun. Uh. So, Don, you know better than us. I know you've shared some other Hawaiian whiskey with us before, but um, if you think this would be a good representation for Hawaii to represent the state in our 50 bourbons from 50 states, uh, let us know your thoughts. Um, and let me explain that whole Mishigash. Well, it's been going on. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we, we kind of got on a tear and then we backed off and now I want to get us back on it, collecting more bottles Just, to represent. Just, you know, the busiest time of the year you want to hop back <laughs> on this other project. Well, there's always... There's several irons in the fire. Always something to do. Uh, what we're looking for <laughs> is a bourbon, uh, I think, or a rye. I mean, if a rye really captures the state the best, it could an be American the whiskey. The best American whiskey from every state. Yeah, bourbon or rye. We're not really looking for putting finished into the mix, I don't think. You know, like double barrel, sure. Uh, toasted oak, sure. But like Cabernet finished, no. Anything that is so much. potentially obscuring the original flavors. flavors, which I understand that finishing in toasted and double barrel does, but it's only adding more oak, which was right. one of the original flavors, not yes. adding like with wine, you know, the berries and stuff, yep. with rum, those like mm -hmm. extra sugars. Island, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so we're looking for, well, basically we can just say a bourbon or an American rye, right? From the state, has to be made in that state, so not sourced from MGP and then bottled by someone in, in that state. It has right. to be made there, which I think all 50 states have a distillery. Are doing a <laughs> or we're gonna find. Distillery. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find them. Uh, or you least. know, if they don't, we'll just say like to be determined on that yeah. state. Like this mm -hmm. distillery just started distilling. Their stuff is only this old. We'll right. come back. But yeah. We expect to see good things out of them because they're waiting this many years to put out their product. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can still like do some research and find the most promising. Maybe yeah. it's not the best, but the most promising. Yes. Uh, thank you for the compliment on my Yiddish. Uh, how many bottles do you, how many bottles have you got chosen so far? We, we don't have any locked. Nothing locked no, in. Nothing, we have accumulated bottles as uh, front runners, but Chad nothing. Chad has hoarded bottles? Yes, nothing <laughs> is locked in. We haven't locked in those votes. No, we're, so a, uh, yeah. I think we're both like kind of finicky sometimes about like, we well, talked about this before. It is, so we're a little bit indecisive yeah. sometimes uh, in our. Yeah. We've doing this channel for uh, over seven years. We know that you put all this time and attention into an episode, and you put it out, and then there's a comment like, "Well, what you should have done was this," or "Why didn't you uh, think about doing that?" So we <laughs> we just want to do the due diligence, and probably eventually have it voted upon, yeah. like the top four or five from I would each like state, to do that. and have the public vote on, okay, this is gonna be our representative for this state. Right. So then it's like, hey, we did the due diligence, right? Mm -hmm. So yep. um, yeah, nothing's nothing's locked in. Yeah, I mean like we wanna maybe narrow it down, but then have them vote, I Yeah, guess. for sure, for um, sure. Which is, you know, how does one do that? How do we get enough of a sample size of votes or a, pop a population, if you will? Population. 
Um, yeah, we'll put it out to everybody, but yeah, for sure. you know, it's tough to get people to do homework. So <laughs> it is. I, I don't want to do homework. I mean, it worked for the sixty-four bourbons under. It did. It did. But we $100. got. I think maximum like we had a thousand answers on one. I'd like a bigger. I thought we had more than that. So didn't we have some that were around seventeen, eighteen hundred? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I would like a larger. Mm-hmm sample size than that sure. but you know we'll take what we can get yeah. i guess that's good enough for some scientific studies so i guess it should be good enough that's right. for us that's right yeah i'll put on my lab coat no testing on animals except these two animals <laughs> <laughs> first super chat of the evening goes to gerald <laughs> gerald he says uh some strength to get you into the different states thank you so much, much. we appreciate it that's a hawaiian I, um, cheers Aloha. i very much recommend this if you are going, I mean, I, I don't know what people's plans are right now. It's a nice little sipper. But the next time, or Isn't if you it? know somebody who's going, or you can get this, would recommend for a, a beach vacation, for oh. a summer sipper. Wow. Yes. Grinch does all of his homework. He does. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> the Electoral College? Ugh. Let's not get into all well, that. I don't. That's too complicated. <laughs> oh, I'll drink to that. Yep. <laughs> let's, let's not. Mm. <laughs> So we'll have a popular vote, then we'll have. Oh, uh, Chad, don't <laughs> even start. I'm not having it. Mm -hmm. All right, help are, me out. People are coming here to escape their daily woes. I am escaping. and concerns. Let's escape Let's together. Escape. Let's all escape. Let's all escape. We drink our feelings. On a no. magic carpet ride. Uh, I know that's a hundred. We're not proof. doing those kinds of drugs here. <laughs> no. Uh, what's that Driftless Glen proof? This is well. Doesn't have a proof. It That's is new. something. Um, okay, tell me I'm wrong. Where is it? Oh, 48, 96 proof. 96. Okay, so that is possible. This is a nominee from the best for the best whiskey from Wisconsin uh, from Matt and Melanie Dart. Well, this one's 90. We appreciate that, Matt yes. and Melanie. Yes. All right, well, let's go there so next. So not that. So probably, probably this one. No, this one's 100. I mean, it's all close enough. We've already we just did the Ben Holiday, so let's not. Well, we didn't do that one. We did the Holiday, so that's why I have that. <sighs> okay. Well, we can only get through so many things. This is a hundred. This is a hundred. That I actually want to do the double oak, which would be that guy. So this will be people next. will be like people will comment on episodes and be like, why do you cut stuff out? And I'm like, because of this, because of what just what you just saw. Nobody <laughs> wants to see that on a Friday episode. <laughs> I had a really interesting um, comment, uh, and it, it was just purely out of uh, out of curiosity but i did want to um answer because i was kind of honestly waiting for this question i think i know what you're talking about uh this uh, gentleman asked in your videos when you take a sip why do you cut out the swallow which i guess he means like your initial reaction yeah you know we go to this motion and the next thing is like huh you know usually we're like hmm making some type of noise this that gets cut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I just basically said it's 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 three things. One, people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter all the time, right? Um, two, originally when we started the channel, we kind of noticed, hey, some of these videos are kind of dragging. It was a lot, so I started slamming the edit uh, a lot closer together. And three, we hate those sounds, and I'm sure you guys don't love them either. I don't like to hear You myself. have to get them on the live. I'm sorry. No way to edit them out. But in a produced video, I can cut them suckers out. Uh, but really, yeah, it's just for time. It's if you watch any of our videos, it's pretty much it's nonstop. It's not any our videos already of the get ruminating long sometimes. So and if channels that do that, that's maybe the viewers a, find that it's uh, a creative decision. Yeah, absolutely. It is like a, I said, we used to an artistic choice. We used to do that. I used to think everything is gold. I can't cut any of this. And then you realize and I get it. Pe uh, there's an old editing expression: "Kill your darlings." Kill your darlings. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get it. People think that because you're cutting that, that maybe you are... You're up to something. Right. And I don't think this commenter was implying no, that. No, he was not. At all. And I don't think anyone in this chat would think that. No. Um, but some people who, it's the first video that they watch of the channel, think that that's suspicious. I get it. That makes sense. Like, why are you removing this one? I want to see your initial yeah. reaction. What are you doing? You but spitting like, it out? If we have an actual reaction, chat like a... Other than smacking and thinking, <laughs> Chad will include it if it's like whoa or yeah. like mm, like big eyes or like uh, or something. Chad, I usually like zoom right in on Chad it. Chad will keep that, but otherwise, if it's just mm -hmm. me thinking and him thinking and us going, 
it gets cut. <laughs> Nobody wants to see 10 seconds of that. I mean, yeah. maybe you do, but it all just adds up and it makes the videos yeah. longer. And I support your creative well, decision to cut it. He brought up a, a interesting thing that I, I hadn't done the research in to realize is that some channels <laughs> cut the swallow, which just sounds weird, cuts the swallow and other channels include the swallow. In the industry, we call it cutting the swallow. We call it cut the swallow. You gotta cut the swallow. I couldn't get through it. It was wrong. I yeah. shouldn't have said it. It was a bad joke. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. So we cut the swallow. Yes, we are very sketchy. So sketchy, We're very, JG. Very sneaky. We are very sketch. <laughs> All right, what we got here? Firefly, uh, oh, no. which is from South Carolina. Okay, so we actually, uh, when we were in Charleston a couple years ago, we, we, but we didn't go there. We talked about going no, there. No, we got this in a liquor store. We got it in a liquor store there, but the distillery was not too far and they were having like live music and we talked about going there, but mm -hmm. we didn't. It's kind of dark. It is kind of dark. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't lie. When I looked up the distillery to decide whether or not we should go for this live music thing, the reviews weren't great. <laughs> I think they are more known for their like flavored like moonshine. I don't know if it's moonshine, but like flavored vodkas, moonshine. They type do. Of thing. They do. They do like they a also sweet have RTDs. Didn't they have like a sweet tea thing? They oh, had, like look at me. You wrote on it, yeah, nineteen ninety nine for a three seven five. And uh, June fifteenth. No, I'm sorry, June fifth, twenty twenty one. Yes. Yeah. We were on vacation <laughs> with another couple, mm -hmm. and so um, we picked this up. Good on me. So we've been, ha we've been having it's, this plan for a little bit. Yeah, it's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. It does look like it's a pick, which I didn't realize, which... <sighs> I think it was the only thing that we could find yeah. that was in us, like... I think we should... Outlaw We picks. should outlaw picks. It needs to be an expression from the distillery, and then someone else had a question about it that I wanted to address... Um, question, can the state whiskey be barrel-proof? Absolutely. I think so. Whatever's the best. As long as it's not a pick, it can be a single barrel as long as it's like, you know, a regular how release. Knob Creek single barrel is it, always on the shelf. Is always on the shelf from Jim Beam, and it's not a Russell's pick. Russell's Reserve has you a single barrel. You can have pick. It gets confusing. It, as long as it doesn't say, like, picked by so and so liquor store or so and so club or Chad and Sarah from this bourbon night, those are the best picks. Ah, um, oh, the Nulu, the Link. Who's got the link? Oh, who's got any of you patrons, got... <laughs> patrons out there in the chat who want to throw that Nulu link um, yeah. at Sharepore? It should just be well, on the it, website it came now. In, it came in an email. Uh, Sharepore emailed it out. Sharepore also mm -hmm. did email it out. We yeah. got a Nulu um, uh, double oaked weeded bourbon, which is quite delicious, and that is now available to the public for purchase. It was a surprisingly there. high. Oh, high yield. high yield. We yeah. got really lucky. So there's a lot of bottles. So that's um, why I made it through Patreon. New new merch. Cut the swallow shirts, please. I knew it. I yes. knew someone was gonna say that. I can't uh, have y'all wearing that out in public with our logo on it. I just can't do it. <laughs> People do will it. be like, can't do it. What kind of a channel is this? Uh, oh, we got some. Super Everything's chats behind a paywall that I missed. You missed them. I missed them. Well, good thing we haven't even we sipped haven't this, even this yet. Don Nishida. The uh, wonderful patron who supplied us the kupu. Who is now also super chatting us to say. I know. Thanks for sharing. No, thank you for sharing and, he's, and for super chatting. And he sent us all Maui goodies. Those I cookies, Don. I would show them, but I've already gone through them. They're the gone. treats, the treats. Uh, you used that pancake mix the other day when you were gone. You were out of town. You used the pancake mix without me? I got me. more of it. I just made myself some pancakes. You never make me pancakes. So you can cook. I burnt one side of the pancakes uh, <laughs> the whole time he's, the whole time he can cook yeah oh yeah it was i just sat Great. around and read and went to the bookstore shut up and picked flowers stop it and it's like when you say the words in front of your dog of like, all their favorite things treat and car ride and outside and grands and all stuff i'm saying it all to you stop went to the bookstore then I picked flowers. You're gonna make me mad. Did you go to the farmer's market? Farmer's market? Stop it. Uh, Glenn and Kathy golf whiskey. Uh, Sarah going with the sexy librarian look tonight. <laughs> so Hello. I have an eye appointment this week and my last contact just ripped when I was getting ready. Uh, <laughs> so glasses it is. Or I could go this way. I can't see anything. I can barely see the camera. Oh. I mean, I see its form. Um, I'll Legally blind. Hello. Legally blind. It legally should be blind. a legally blonde. There you go. <laughs> there should be. That's the skit. That's the That's skit. That's the skit. Also, mods, if you took care of uh, that um, thing.
thing there. I appreciate it. What's that thing? There we, we just got spammed. Oh, um, well, it happens. And then hot, hot toddy with a super chat uh, saying, "Have a poor, having a pour of the wheat smell of success. Damn. Happy I picked up multiples. And that would be the Nulu double oaked weeded bourbon. The wheat smell of success. It is the toast of the town. That's what I heard. Uh, Takupa is a bourbon knight, so uh, bourbon knights can pick up multiples when we have high yields. Um, well, technically, everyone, when we have real well, high yields. Yeah, but now, yes. but Bourbon knights can pick up multiples. Yes. Mostly every time. Mostly. And also Santiago, TC13. Uh, looking forward to the wheat smell of success, uh, but they don't ship to my state, so I had to send oh. to a friend in another state. I think I'm I can sorry. trust him to leave me some. I hope oh, so. No. Fingers crossed. I was just thinking about our time in Vegas Ooh. from last year where we met Santiago. That's and right. Our happy hour because yeah. it is like the anniversary of that. That's true. Yeah. So for those uh, those super chats. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We salute you. Smells for good. those about to super chat. <laughs> for those who have super chatted. Yeah. Well, bad for 20 bucks, but 20 bucks for a small bottle. Well, so double it, 40. So the same as the Kupu. And would rather have the Kupu? It has, it's, um, it, it, it's hmm. got potential. Yeah, what it's, is, it's got some sharp edges. The, it's the sharp edges for the, me. The uh, initial palette and like the color is excellent. It has a little bit of a, co like a cold brew coffee does, flavor. Yeah, yeah. It, but I don't, I don't mind it. I don't no, like it's not super strong, but mm. it is there. It's got, and I think by that I just mean mm. there's like a bitterness and a harsh edge in there. Yeah. That reminds me of like a really like cold brew concentrate. Yeah. I like that in my breakfast drinks. Um, sure. I can, I think there are some good things about this and I like how it maintains flavor. Needs a little more polishing. Like, so would like to see like a six year product from them. Sure. Um, what I would say is like, if you're not a critic, right? If you're just pouring this, you're drinking it, you're gonna be completely happy with it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's shortcomings are, there's not really a finish. It kind of mm. goes away. And there are a little bit of sharp edges. It's a little hard. But the beginning, the beginning of the palette and even the mid is like really good. Yeah, I think it's got a nice, um, almost like chocolatey brown sugar. Yeah. Um, good desserty flavors. Some mm -hmm. nice. You keep some oak in there. Yep. It's just that like bitter, tannic. I want. I mean, I all I can I think, think of is like coffee. I think really age would it. really help it. Yeah. But I do think that this is a nice selection. Like it is. Now I'm like, I wish we had gone to this distillery when we were there. Maybe we need to go back to Charleston. For Chad 90. will go. I'll go. His favorite dish in the whole world oh, lives there. <laughs> uh, if you're yeah. going to Charleston, go mm. to the Obstinate Daughter, the OD. Out, um, Make sure they still have it. And uh, they had some pork ragu gnocchi, I think, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, ho, ho! big fan. Ordered two entrees big over fan. here. Big fan. Huge. The Huge. biggest. For 90 proof, this, you know, it's got some character. I just wish it had the finish. Um, For 90 proof. But it's. I mean, you know, again, 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It was fun. I'm glad we got it. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, so people in um, South Carolina is is this? Come on, raise it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, that's North Carolina. That's North I'm Carolina. sorry. Oh, oh you just offended South Carolina. Uh, is this? No, distiller I ruined it. I had one chance to do that reference. Is this distillery at least the best representation for your state? Might not be the right expression, but is is this distillery the right to represent your state? Please weigh in. Yes or no. If you live there. And if no. Have experience with your local um, whiskeys. Uh, Tiffany. Tiffany. Super chat saying, wow, the Nulu pick. Every time she super chats. There you go. I mean, not every time. I mean, well, every time you super chat, but also outside of that, we mm -hmm. will bring out. So amazing. We went out and bought a second bottle immediately after what? our first try. What? Oh. Tell you what. Oh. We do pretty good with those new the little noir, noir series. Yeah, yeah, we. I think they we kind of get a little, pick, um, a little, 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 little famous. Don't say that f word. Famous. <gasps> I don't like that. Thank you, Tiffany. Little child, little Sarah. That. They they say they thank approve. you. Approved. <laughs> barely taller than a little Chad and a little Sarah. Hmm. 
I could just like, I feel like I'm about to play Barbies with these. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Oh, you can, you can. Oh, what would they say to each other? Oh. Did I miss Missouri already? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, We've not. done Hawaii and South Carolina. Mm. You can still come on and raise up. I'm sad that you're you you're Glen Karen is, is Okay, we have we have a local way in. No, no, Firefly is not a good distillery for our state. Please uh submit a suggestion and we will we should take minutes. We should take the minutes. Yeah. Oh, um yes, we'll take the minutes. Oh, this is where I say Chad, let's open a nice bottle on live. And you say, no, we have too many <laughs> bottles open already. And I say, but you always talk about how we should open bottles. And you're like, I don't remember saying that. I don't remember saying that, <laughs> Trap Woman. <laughs> you never Come said on. that. Come on, jeez. Do you like it? Do you want to see a puppet show just with these two? <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. Hmm. This episode has gone to all the highs and all the lows. <laughs> I've been... Everywhere. <laughs> so Chuck T, um, please nominate a better tell us what you would recommend for instead. South Carolina or anyone else who has experience. You don't have to live in South Carolina, but if you you know, okay, here we go. Um, Sarah, if you could take these minutes, please. <laughs> I can. Burnt Church, Anita's choice would be one hundred percent better. And that's South Carolina. I. That's that's the parameter. So. Hopefully. Okay. It has been written. Uh, Will it come to pass? Six and 20. Yeah, we have another 100% Anita's Choice is great, says okay. James. Okay, I'm taking the notes. Got it. <laughs> Brett wants a Friday mini, mini Chad and Sarah episode. We could do a reenactment with them. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, North theater. Carolina, North Carolina distillery, Bo Boge, Bogue, Bogue distillery Bogue. has an amazing, <laughs> <laughs> no. Bogue, amazing barrel proof rye at 114 proof. Do you love that proof? That's North Carolina. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I want to keep drinking, but I'll jot them down as they yeah, come six, in. You got six and 20. Yeah. You I got did. Okay. Um, okay. What's next? This Driftless one? Okay, great. Yes. Uh, another super chat here from Dang Drinks. I believe this is your first, Dang. Your first super chat from us, so we do appreciate. Uh, do you have a main pick yet? Mm. Well, I know Tony is we up do have in a, Maine. Yes, a patron who lives up in Maine, uh, and a uh, hot toddy and here hot in the toddy. chat is a very- Are you in Maine? He's probably in Maine right now, I think, Blink actually. Tw uh, bark twice if His you're in birthday. Maine. <gasps> Happy belated birthday. His birthday was yesterday. I you forgot. No. No. Happy birthday. No, it wasn't yesterday. Hot no, it was weeks ago. No, I think it was yesterday. No. Because I said, ago? sorry for... Okay, anyways. No, it was like a Happy month ago. Happy belated birthday, whether <laughs> or not it was recent. Uh. Anyways. Pretty sure, but I'm not positive. I don't do the social medias too well. <laughs> so anyway, uh, dang drinks, we're going to get... Um, something new in our glass here, and we will cheers you, and then we'll also be cheersing. No, it wasn't, Grim said. Ah, uh, my bad. <laughs> I really what? thought I saw. It wasn't his birthday. No. I really thought I saw that it was. My bad. You must have I'm seen the worst. A, uh, just said, got back yesterday. August. Also, we'll be cheersing Scott, um, who is uh, one of our many, uh, um, we call mods, extraordinaires. Sorry. What do you call? <laughs> Little Chad and Sarah puppet time needs to be a weekly segment. Well, mm. maybe we'll have to get a marionette situation going. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's what mine says. Oh, jeez. You oh, just geez. get a, one of the dolls oh, where geez, you pull Rick. the string and mine just says, oh, jeez. Oh, and bagooey. Bagooey. <laughs> so to Scott and Dang Drinks, thank you for the Super Chats. I appreciate and you. And I'm sorry that I missed your birthday, Todd, and also thought that it, it was, was yesterday. Uh, yesterday. I swear I saw something online. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I just love that. No, that came up that all came up about the question <laughs> about Maine. Birthday was in August, but thank you. I know, I understand now. Jeez. Oh. Well, there's one we forgot. Joey Tony Bag of Donuts. Sorry. His birthday was Maybe Wednesday. Maybe that's who I'm thinking of. I don't know what I'm thinking. Well, thank you. Thank Tony. you for the super chat. 
happy birthday, or, happy belated no, birthday. Yes. No, just just thank you for the chat. Thank you for the comment. And thanks for being a patron. I'm the worst today. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna shut my mouth. Begooning. You know how when Chad always starts naming off everybody and then he just digs himself into a deeper hole? That's me right now. Nope, I don't I just know that. Need to stop. I don't recall that. I'm doing a bad job. Well, that's a good nose. It smells like. Mm. A little. It smells like a caramel. Campfire cooking. I was gonna say it smells like a caramel flavored candle. Like if you went into a Yankee Candle and there was a like. Oh, don't you. Caramel flavored. Besmirch. Their name with a Yankee Candle reference. Okay, uh, so a regular candle was an okay reference, but when I said Yankee Candle, that was too far for you. Yeah, if I walk into one of those stores, I'm just assaulted. No, I didn't say a store. I uh. just said that candle. Well, okay. maybe I did say a store, but I meant yeah. just to smell that candle, not the whole store. Yeah. Again, thank you to Matt and Melanie um, for this. Yes, we appreciate it. This uh, nominee, right? For it Wisconsin? Is. It's on the back. Yes. For Wisconsin. Oh, it doesn't taste like what I thought it was going to taste Whoa, it's like. got some Red Hots in there. Red Hots and... Red Hots and, and Spearmint. And yeah, I was going to say something minty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Is this a rye? Toothpaste? <laughs> I mean... No, it's a bourbon. It just tastes like a rye. Hold on. Let me it pull up... It has rye notes. Pull up my Pull info. up your research. Uh, Show us your research. That's Firefly. That's... Just Fliss Glen. Here we are. Hey, what I want to know while Chad's looking this up, uh, raise your hand out there with your little emojis or whatever. Who's going to Kentucky Bourbon Festival this week? Uh, and uh, if so, I don't know. I want to have a little drink at, I don't know when how we're going to do that, but I'd like to arrange a little happy hour drink. Happy hour? Yeah. Yeah, at their like bourbon tent or something. Just... Anybody out there going? Raise your hand. Tell us. I guess. We'll so also small. pull Patreon um, and bunch. see what's what. This doesn't say this is their small batch. Chad, I thought you did your research. Well, this is looking, I pulled up the website anyway. This is looking like a pick or something. Mm, no, it's just bottled by Casey. Batch number 32, um, 96 proof. Yeah, I guess this is their small batch. Maybe they label it differently now. Perhaps. Okay, so we're looking at uh, these small batches consist of about 20 barrels hand selected by our distillers and combined together. It's bottled in 96 proof. To give a mash doodly bill? Doodly 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 it's doodly. very rye forward. Now they just list all the metals they won. What if it was a weeder? That wouldn't make any sense. I would not believe that. <laughs> we have some super chats to get caught up on. From Tiffany. You said that to me like it was my fault. <laughs> no, it's very matter of factly, Sarah. <laughs> This is a... We have some super chats to get up on. You said that like it was my fault. <laughs> wow. You can do all the voices? I can do all the voices. Okay, good. This is a super chat request. Chat, would you please hold mini Chad and Sarah and lasso Sarah the moon? Please? Or you do the vocals and Sarah do the mini movements. Love you. Well, you did pay for this, so I guess... Um, I was like, what's on your face? They put the gray in your beard. <laughs> My, my evil supervillain grays. Supervillain grays, that's so cute. Okay, okay, Tiffany. We shall. We shall honor your request. You, you want me to? Okay. Didn't she say to do it? Isn't that well, what you, she, could, you can do both. You, you just do your movements and I'll, and I'll, and I'll do mine. <clears throat> oh, 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 what do you want, Sarah? Do you, do you want me to lash show you the moon? Come back here, Sarah. Come back. I'm not done. I'm not done uh, t talking to you. You're walking away like this, like you can't independently move your your legs. Do you want me to to lash show you the moon, Sarah? Because I'll, I'll do it. I'll lash show you the moon. <laughs> that got a little Matthew McConaughey. I'll lash show you the moon. Time's a flat there. circle, Chad. Time's a flat circle. Anyways, thank you, Tiffany and Graham. That for, for the again, super chat. Couple, we had at least one person in here who was new who was like. What, what is did this? I sign up for? What is going on? Bourbon this is an abnormal episode. Bourbon Booster just tried Wheat Smell of Success. She <gasps> really likes it. Hey, Mikey. She likes it. Bourbon Booster likes it. <sighs> that is like the true stamp of success. It is. And Nick with a super chat saying, we enjoy Driftless Glen Rise that are cask. But um, are hard to find. But are hard to find. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well. 
So for those three super chats, what do we think about it for Wisconsin? <sighs> well, first of all, what uh, else have you had from Wisconsin? Because uh, yeah, exactly. I can't think of anything. I need a second sip here. Mm. This is like my third or fourth. It's growing on me. This also has it like, a, like a rye. It does taste like a rye. This I wish we had also has bit. like a very dark, earthy espresso. Oh, we have an age here. Kind of thing going on. Distilled, aged a minimum of two years, a new oak and bottle by Truffles Glen Distillery. Honestly, for two years, that's very impressive. Baraboo, is that right? Wisconsin? <laughs> I haven't been there. I don't know. <laughs> oh. mm. I want to take them off, but then you can't then see. Then I can't see. It's irritating me. Wow. I want to be free when I drink. <laughs> For Wisconsin, I feel Jay Henry expressions are much better than Driffles Glen. Well, let's okay. put that down. TNT or Diamante. <laughs> oh, I put too many R's in there. It's fine. Hmm. I'll know it. I'll know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Henry for Wisconsin. I think we've had Jay Henry. I think we have recently, actually. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm Dancing gonna... Goat and for... Jay Henry from Wisconsin. Dancing. Dancing goat. Is that not like? Goat. It's not prideful goat. Hmm. Is it the same thing? I mean, is it the same place? Different goats. Is it prideful, prideful goat sourced anyway? So it would be just Bear Abu. Okay. Bear Abu. Bear Abu. Is Thank you, pronounced. Terrence. Bear Abu. See, you are an invaluable part to this live wow. stream. Please keep coming back. <laughs> we needed you. Thanks for joining. It's like he knew. <laughs> mm -hmm. He saw like the Bourbon Night bat signal and came to watch the live. <laughs> we should have a signal. We should. Mm. Do we have any other updates? I feel like we should have updates. Um. We still have, we have 10, I think nine or 10, E.H. Taylor barrel proof, six release tasting starting with the 2012 uh, that's a tasting event in November. Batch one through six. Batch one through six. Uh, November 9th in Lexington, Kentucky. Dinner is included. Dinner is included. And it's not just like Chipotle or whatever. Like it's a no, it's a people dinner who, dinner. It's basically our meal from our wedding. That's actually going to be on Friday. Okay. Well, it's the same people. We chose a different So if that says menu. anything, we obviously trust them because we chose this catering company to cater our wedding. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, cater dinner. Um, hopefully trying to add some other fun things about this dinner, but we'll taste through six expressions. Uh, perhaps a welcome cocktail, perhaps something surprise for dessert. I don't know. We'll see. But there are 10 tickets left, I believe, uh, to that. That's on our website under event tickets. The uh, link is also in the description of this live. And if you're going to that, you might as well stick around for uh, Friday's event, which is the big bourbon night. VIP tickets are sold out, but you can still get general admission tickets, which will get you access to a personally curated bourbon bar from Sarah and myself, including every single bourbon night pick that we've ever done. Whoa. So you've heard us talk about this wheat smell of success. Yes, it'll be on the bar. And so will um, a mash made in heaven, the now, dare I say, legendary, Knob Creek pick that we did back in 2019. Our very first. Uh, and everything in between, plus a cigar lounge, plus a, a catered dinner that will basically be what we had on our wedding night back in 2019. <laughs> or, yeah, 2019. Our wedding day, night in 2019. Um, and uh, there'll be a silent auction there, benefiting charity mm -hmm. that you can participate in, but you're not uh, obligated to, of course. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. The Big Bourbon Nights, our first annual and lots of tickets left for that one it'll go it'll go around again we hope so gonna be a shik -shash. um and also the h taylor barrel proof dinner not all the proceeds benefit charity and you've actually chosen the charity now yes i have uh it'll be benefiting um parkinson's research the michael j fox foundation i did my due diligence uh researching that it seems to be um, one of the best places uh where the money that you're donating will actually go to research so would that, you like to share why you chose them? Just, uh, a brief, just a brief statement or no? Uh, maybe at the, at the event. At the event? At the okay. event. Okay. Yes. He doesn't want to share. And we won't make him. <laughs> it is important to Chad at and also event. me because yes. it's important to him. Yes. Uh, and so that's why we chose it. Hmm. There we go. So you have chosen the next one. I have chosen and I just poured a lot of it. Um, <laughs> I mean, go for it. No. We're, I want we'll the other one. Well, you didn't let me stand up. I want the other one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please, thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I want the other one. Go get it. <laughs> I'm out of hand. It's too much. Why? Why is this happening? I'm not sure. There's a fuzz. <gasps> Yay! He got it. All right, this is for you. You talking about Angela and Keith? Yes! Angela and Keith. I told you it was written on the bottle. Angela Good, a patron. I told you it was written on the bottle. What did you What did you do? Nothing. I did. Oh, that's a heavy. Sorry for the headphone listeners. It's a heavy metal topper. It likes to rock. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, what has got into me? I ate chicken and vegetables for dinner, so maybe I just didn't. She starts drinking outside of Kentucky, and she gets kooky. Of a base? Like, I'm really not sure what's going on. So, why do you not have anything, but I still do? Because I poured... Ah. Uh, you got this. Well, I'll taste it. I'll. We can both taste both of them. Okay. But there's no sense. Oh, you're going to have that one. I'm going to have this one. Okay. Gotcha. I like this one. Okay, so this one's kind of hard to read. I love the black on black label, but I will say it's it's pretty difficult to read. Uh, so this is a Kings County barrel strength straight bourbon whiskey. It is 63.4%, which is one, no, <laughs> 60. Okay. Math. 60, 66.8, one, I'm sorry. Once, no. What is it? Stop it. 126.8 proof. 126.8 proof. Jesus. Wow. A lot of times theirs is hazmat. That was a struggle. It I would love, 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 love to do a barrel pick of their Gerald is saying, stuff. I need to have some butterfly effect as Liz polished off my bottle while I was in Scotland. Oh, she said, oh, you're going to go have a good time? Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a good time. Uh, butterscotch, butterscotch effect. Butterscotch effect. Same butterscotch thing. Effect. Same thing. Yeah, that's what it's based off of. Um, that's our maker's, our maker's our pick. Our maker's pick. I'd like to do mm -hmm. another maker's pick, please. And uh, Kevin Weber with Super Chat here saying thank you for making Tiffany's night. I apologize for her. No, don't apologize. No need, Kevin. Don't no apologize. Need at all. Don't apologize. Bring a towel. That's what that sounded like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't apologize. <laughs> That's Mr. Hanky. And now we've gotten, what time is it? 8.52, about right. It's about right, to be <laughs> that's, fair. that's about, that's, that's mm, on brand. It's about right. So that's this brand. is um, Kings County, which is New York. I promise I'm fine. I just, wow, something's wrong with my brain today. Um, yeah, this is Kings County and it's from New York. And we've actually been to this distillery. Uh, we got the little... Both of these are Kings County, New York. Yeah. Um, this guy is their bald and bond, so that, of course that means it's 100 proof. Um, and this is just... What is this known as? Just it just barrel is a strength? barrel strength. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's... 63.4. Uh, this was uh, Whiskey Weekend Batch 5, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to get high? I knew I liked this, so we were at Whiskey Weekend Batch 5, uh, and there was like a... Um, Thank you. Not, I mean, you know, the, all the ladies who were in attendance had like a separate little... Not separate, I mean, mm. as Travis was there. Um, just a, a small little gathering so that we could get to know each other as, you know... A lot of people are companions of people who are attending Whiskey Weekend Batch 5. So it was like a, hey, let's all get to know each other. And then we'll meet up with all the guys. So it was like girls hour, kind of. Um, and Angela had and Keith had brought this bottle. And it was one of the first ones that I sipped. Oh, hello. Um, wait, is that you? No, that's not you. Oh, is the Marianne Eves blend. Gotcha. Yeah. That's what it was. Um, the blacked out label. Anyways, I tried it as like my first or second pour. And I just was taking little sips so I could try more stuff. I went back to this one like three times that evening just to have like a couple more little sips because it was really good. Mm -hmm. I remember it being it really is. good. And then I liked it so much and I told Angela how much I liked it. And then when they left, they were like, we can't fly back with this. So this is for you. And I was like, this is one of my favorite ones in a while. Let's have it at the Big Bourbon Night. <gasps> we're going to have it at the it's Big on the Bourbon bar. Night. It's, it's done. It's on the bar. Wow. Love that. It's on the bar. It's very good. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I saw, I saw. Just and just like that, it's on the bar. And just like that, it's on the bar. I saw someone else asking mm. about. It's so go. chocolatey and barrelly and mm. frosty metal. What about the Jim Beam lineage you guys picked up? What about? It's on the bar. Chadwick. Might be VIP. <gasps> no, 
You just said it's on the bar. Well, that would still be technically on the bar. Well, but that would mean VIP would have to kill it and every other VIP bottle. Correct. So it's not like we're going to. We're take not going to take them away. We're not jerks. Yeah. Unless there's people out there who do that, and then you do you. <laughs> Unless you run a big bourbon night and you take and bottles, you take away, the bottles after away after VIP, which could happen. I wouldn't do that to you. Any bottle that's opened and brought to that event, I expect to not return with it. So I don't care okay. who. I mean, I don't care who drinks it, but. Hmm. You're right, Scott. Gramps, you you need to be. He a mod. needs to be a mod. Fix it. Wait, I gotta be. You're in the wrong thing. I can't do it in here. You can't do it in here. Can we just do it later? I can ban him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Mod or ban? Mod or ban? Well, I couldn't do mod, so I banned you. <laughs> hmm. I can do it. Just you you you're gonna have to talk. Oh, okay. Um. What other kinds of things would you guys like to see on the big bourbon bar or in your dream event? And like, let's be somewhat reasonable. Oh goodness, that was scary. Uh, scary ad. <laughs> um, what other kinds of things would you guys like to see on your dream bourbon bar at an event? What, what did, would you hope to show up and see there? Let's be somewhat reasonable. Like if you say, you know, I want to see that uh, 1983 Old Grandad 114, like, oh, probably not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> Why did you bring that up then? <laughs> because there's not much of it left. Like, how would we get one? There's like this oh, much yeah, left. Yeah. I mean, maybe well, we, we could share we what- put those in, in sample bottles. Maybe we could yeah. share what was left, but mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, don't be yeah. like, ooh, what I really wanna see is a 1956, blah, 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 blah. Like, not, probably not gonna happen because it's yeah. not likely, but of the th you all watch the channel, so you kind of know what we have. And correct, Nick. Um, Thank you. You know, Chad just said we'll put a Jim Beam lineage on the bar. He said we'll mm -hmm. put this on the bar. Like, mm -hmm. what else are we gonna put on the bar? I don't well, know. We got uh, over a hundred bottles over here already. We're gonna have the Booker's 201602 Anna's answer, Ooh. which was our wedding Booker's oh. uh, expression. We're gonna have that on the bar, an unopened bottle. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, and by the way, Gramps, you have been knighted. You are now a mod, or you've been wrenched. You, you've been wrenched. You've been wrenched. Uh, how cute. Um, <laughs> Hill Rock for New York. I'll write that down. Hill Rock, okay, yeah. Right, 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 right. Someone right. also told us when we were out there, they were like, you should really go up there, but it was a, mm -hmm. a drive and we didn't have a vehicle, so. Yeah. Um, oh, this is so good. This tastes like butterscotch and coffee and chocolate. It's delicious and oak. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's very tasty. It is very tasty. Um, if I don't drink it all, I guess it's off limits to me after this since it has to go on the bar. Um, I mean, this is good too. It just, this kicks its butt. Well, obviously it should. It's like 26 wanna... point, and no. <laughs> Offended. I don't. Uh, somebody who Fireball bottle bond. bond. Those somebody are very said, limited, hard to get. Somebody said they want a blind flight on the bar. That would be Difficult. That would be difficult. Man, our bartender would be very working, unhappy with us. Working overtime. Yeah. We mm. will have um, the Wilderness Trail Wheat Science and the Imperial Stout that was aged in the Wilderness Trail Wheat Science barrels will be at that too. That's um, right. So, very, Talking about some beer. very exciting there. Yeah. Uh, all we've fireball. tasted it. Very happy about that. That's a good, that's a good option. We when I tell fireball. you guys we've got some irons in the fire, I mean, we get some irons in the fire and I'd love to tell you about them now, but I don't like to speak of things before they're done. We're hoping we can do a little preview at the Big Bourbon Night. Just saying, and not at a least promise. one product. Because it's a little bit out of our hands. Truly. But if the things fall into place and we'll be able to do that. I'm fingers crossed hoping to preview something at Bourbon on the Banks, the but we shall see. <laughs> The 64 from the tourney, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if you wanted to create your own tournament, mm. I would say no one's gonna uh, stop you, but a bartender might stop you. <laughs> true. Union Horse Rye for Kansas. Okay. Union Horse Rye. Interesting, okay. Maybe we can try that. I've tried Union Horse before. Uh, I went to the Chicago, like a Chicago whiskey little festival and uh, mm -hmm. I talked that. to a guy from, yeah. this was years ago. Um, by years ago, I mean, it was probably 2019. Maybe it was 2020. Actually, I think it was 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, in like January of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, where was that, Kansas? Uh, and met a guy who works there and yep. um, gave me some Union Horse and we liked it. And that's been a long time since I've, we've done anything. I'm sure it's only gotten better. Well, we'll have to give it a shot. All right. 
Uh, any chance of a preview for the October trip? Steven wants to know. Well, I think we could let some friends on, in on a secret or two. Not yet. Not now. Okay. On the October trip. I bet you we will have a better update for you. Yes. Privately. Right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Yeah. On, oh, I see. On the October he's, and trip. And he's caught up now. Okay. I thought you meant revealing Catch up. some of our super secret events that are happening on the October trip. And no. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. Like, no. Those are, those are surprises. No. So we got a couple bottle and bonds. We got the Trace Hombres from Balcones. And we've got the Old Man in the mount, of the Mountain. Uh, which I kind of want to go here. Right? Yeah. So this one... Uh, Ian Leslie Clark, thank you for this one. This will be representing Missouri? No, we already had Missouri. Uh, uh, I don't want to give this bottle away. New Hampshire. <laughs> you Why can't, would you do that? You can't un you, I didn't do it. You did it. All right, she's taking it off the bar. No, it's off I'm the bar. not. I will share with you. I just... I really like it, but I, I want to share with you all. It's not fair for me to ho hog it all to myself. <laughs> I didn't even do anything to deserve it. Um, um, yes, New Hampshire, this guy, the old man in the mountain. Oh, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> so after we just watched The Outsider and uh, that's kind oh, of creepy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's, I've been holding on to this one for a little bit. Like I said, I make him watch creepy, psychologically disturbing things. I got into it. And Chad's like, can we just watch something that's can like... Bob's He's Burgers. like, can we watch Bob's Burgers, though? <laughs> Which we did watch after that. Yeah, because I can't go to bed after watching Spooky Scary. Yeah. I mean, I can and sleep just fine, but... Sometimes. Sometimes. The Old Man of the Mountain is a single edition bottled and bond bourbon made from 82.4% organic yellow corn, 11% organic rye, and 6.6% malted barley. Not organic, Not organic. Barely. Uh, <laughs> I'm just yeah. Doodly doodly do. Four years. Doodly doodly do. Okay, Ned Flanders. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Um, it's the first ever liquid developed by New Hampshire, by the New Hampshire Craft Distillery. Okay. It's scratch made. 53, 53 gallon barrels. Doodly doodly do. Quit that. Oakley doakley. <laughs> doodly doodly do. Doodly doodly do. I'm going to pour myself because you don't have one ready yet. Excuse me. I'm working on it. So. Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 glug. That's enough. Thank this you. seems like a Colonel E.H. Taylor bottle. It is. That's what I was just thinking. It is an E.H. Taylor bottle. I recognize it by the sound. I'd know that sound anywhere. <laughs> this is batch number 16. If you're keeping up, it's pot distilled. Tamworth. New Hampshire? Mm -hmm. Tamworth? Tamworth. Go back to the chat. Whoa. Yeah, it's grain forward on the nose. Very grain forward. Let me see if I missed... I mean, I missed a lot, but... Did we miss any supers? Nope. Okay. Disappointing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding! Wow. I get barn. I get barn. Like... And... and creamed corn saddle, in a can. Saddle, saddle, saddle leather. Saddle leather. No, yes. I get canned creamed corn. This smells like walking into that um, leather place up in Louisville. Oh, um, Clay Clay Clayton, Clayton, Clayton Chrome. Chrome. How do you not smell creamed corn? I'm just really getting... That's it. That's all I get. A leather, you know, diary or whatever. Um, really? Yeah. I'm not getting any of that. I just get like, yeah, all <sighs> grains, grasses, farm... And canned cream corn. And that's the last time I'm going to say that. Canned cream corn. Soft red winter wheat. I don't like it. So that's why it sticks out to me. Whenever I, yeah, was ever at a babysitter's house and they were like for lunch, like make canned cream corn. I was like, Ugh. whoa. Well, that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, it ain't it, though. Oof. 
There's so much. Wow. To dig into on this. That is earthy. It tastes like. It tastes like the little red and white peppermints that you get when you leave a restaurant, but it also tastes like earth. Mm -hmm. But hay. it also tastes like hay and hay. cream. It also tastes like cream corn. There's a lot going on. But the, specifically those like little plastic wrapped peppermints, the cellophane ones. Cool whip. I said that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. All um, right. Well, second sip. I want to go back to my comfort place. <laughs> There is a really weird tobacco in there too. Tobacco aging in a barn. This almost tastes flavored. Specifically. Yeah, it's really interesting. There, There is a lot going on as far as flavor notes. I'm not sure why. It's like it's spicy, but it's also all corn, but it's also minty. And it leaves this like synthetic mint candy note on the palate. <laughs> Can't keep I'm from mostly whistling. I'm just intrigued by all the things that are happening because I've never tasted anything like this yeah, before. Yeah, it's that non-organic barley. You think so? Or the, yeah, that's what it was. Well, the barley. It's just so minty. And in so the saddle, minty. in the saddle. Maybe it's like leather polish i don't know yeah like leather i love softener the, the label is beautiful yeah i really thought the bottle is gorgeous mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean anything it's true what's okay how old did you say it was four Two, years four years bib oh duh <laughs> um it's um I don't know. I don't know. New Hampshire. Who knows of another distillery? Who knows of another distillery? In New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. Or expression. Joey Tony bag of donut chocolate with Super Chat saying, Does this make you happy, Chad? Is this all I am to you? Oh. <laughs> Super Chat? She's the one who incorrectly said Super Chat when she went to say comment. No, Tony. We love you anyways, with or without a Super Chat. Though we do appreciate it. And we will now cheers you from an old man of the mountain. That's you. I'm the old man of the mountain? Mm. Oh. Sometimes I feel like the old man of the mountain. Santiago TC13 back again. Look who's back, back again. Uh, that ain't it. <laughs> Going mm -hmm. on right on the board. Yep. That ain't it. Thank um, you, Santiago. Thank you. Yeah, um. <laughs> They're pretty, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty but yeah. He's a 10 but um, she's a 10 but I do really like the label and I will say it has a nice mouthfeel. But flavor wise, <sighs> I don't understand how this happened. Like they feel if it all feels very disconnected, I guess. And it also feels like a rye. Um, I appreciate and respect the uh, what they're trying to do with the organic grains, what they're also trying to do with the bottled and bond. Much respect. Like I do think it it seems like they, I don't know how to say this in a way that doesn't seem like I'm just trying to say nice things, but I always want to say what I think. I don't know. Well, um, I'll say this, Sarah. Some distilleries uh, make it part of their DNA to not taste like a Kentucky other, bourbon. Yes. Or anyone, you know, they're like, it well, feels like no that's one can for. do it like the 200 plus year old distilleries are doing in Kentucky or Tennessee or Indiana. Um, so we're not going to try to take them on. We're going to try to put our own fingerprint out there and make See, our own taste. And if that was the quest, they are doing that. But I think when you put the word bourbon on a bottle, you have some expectations. You evoke an expectation in people. Now I will say quality. I don't think that quality wise, I don't think this is bad. It's not hot. It's not harsh. Yep. It is, it, like I said, it has a good mouthfeel. Yep. It has flavors that are present and they're taste, just so but they're just front so and center and disconnected mm -hmm. and don't taste like what I think I of when I think of a line. bourbon. Right. I'm having a hard time yeah. putting it all together. True. That being said, I do think there is potential in this distillery I just don't think whatever. They've already got the design down. Is it 
the specific grains that were used, like maybe the percentage of that mash bill where, was pretty heavy on the corn. Well, maybe wherever that organic specific thing of corn came from is giving it that really funky taste. I don't know. So I think they know what they're doing, I'll, but I just, there's a mm -hmm. piece that's missing yeah. or something. I'll say this anecdotally. Uh, some places get really proud of their organic or their state's grain to where, like, think of the big guys. They get truckloads brought in. They take, you know, samples. five to ten samples from and test it. And if there's anything suspicious or funky, they reject that. When you might be growing your own grains or you are hanging your hat on, we only use grains from our state. Our neighbor farm that only grows this exactly. type of thing. Exactly. Then you get less picky because like, well, we got to take it because that's what we can get. And then you're accepting maybe every single batch. Maybe you're not even testing. And then you end up with something that's got some mold or some funk in it that you should have rejected. Mm. Like the big guys do, but you're all about not being the big guys. But the big guys are big because of a reason. Sometimes. Or you've already not gone so always. far down this path where you're like hanging your hat or like your name based on... Your, your whole brand is based on this idea of we're only accepting X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. This local, this specific type. Mm -hmm. To where you've gone so far down that path like... You will convince yourself that it is what you want it to be. Because it fits the narrative. Because it fits the narrative. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I'm not saying that's what happened here. No. I'm just saying... We've seen it happen to other We have seen places. it happen to other places. Yeah. And it feels like that... Something like that might be what's going on here. Like, they are so wanting to do the organic thing. Which, again, right. much respect. Sure. But... I mean, the whole non-GMO thing is a big thing, right? Perhaps, by doing that, you are then narrowing down where you can get your stuff from and yeah. maybe that's what's causing i don't know I, again it tastes like they know what they're doing it's not a poorly produced product it just the flavors aren't gelling and right. i think it i honestly think it goes back to the grains yeah. uh hot toddy saying smuggler's notch is decent they're from new hampshire you know did we have that, that last time we were up there with you I can't smuggler's remember. notch i'm gonna write that down and then i think i saw another one cooper's canyon in west chesterfield new hampshire uh, cooper Cooper? Todd, I didn't know you had a distillery. <laughs> Copper. Sorry. Copper. C-O-P-P-E-R. Copper Canyon. Is yeah. New Hampshire? Not Todd Cooper Canyon. Yes. And then we have Nick with a super chat. Nick! Saying Iowa only real option is Cedar Ridge. Rest sucks. That's what the general consensus seems to be. Iowa is Cedar Ridge. Mm -hmm. I don't even know that we need to put that one to a vote. Well, the Scott's whole... saying Templeton is good. Templeton. And that's Iowa? I... I'll write it down. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, well. uh, okay. Yes. Now, I think we only have time because we're already over, but I want to do one more. I don't want to do the Spalcones because it was sort of thrown in just to represent Texas. I want to do 13th Colony, but I don't want to do the full bottle that we have over there. I want to do that. You want to do the double? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not going to argue with you on that uh -huh. one. I've just been sitting over here delightfully drinking my... Um, your New York? My New York. Yeah, my King's County. King's County? Mm, my barrel proof. So, I like it. if you could put the bottle over here just for reference. I suppose. So, this is 13th Colony, and we've got a couple from from them. This one, in particular, is their small batch bourbon. And it's it's good. But, where their stuff shines, you all, you all already know, is their double oak. Uh, this sample is from Tiffany and Jamie. We don't have a bottle of this. We would love to have a bottle of this. Uh, it's hard to find. It is chased, right? Uh, this is 135.3 proof. This is the double oak from 13 Colony. This is what we're going to finish the night out with. I thought you were about to say this is what we're going to finish tonight. And I was like, <laughs> sir. Look at that color. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Look at the color. I'm going to save the rest of this because it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on a full bottle of their double oak. The, the distillery sent us a sample. Tiffany and Jamie sent us a larger sample. <laughs> um, Did you just call them out? Not them, no. the distillery. No. Uh, Sean says bourbon junkies love 13th Colony. Apparently they're not wrong. I mean... We love those guys. Their their regular offerings are, are good. Um, but the one that shines far and above is the double oak. They're in Michigan. We should probably ask them about the Wisconsin and the Michigan. Yeah, like for sure. Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. What you like? Whew, that's a good nose, man. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good, folks. Uh, oh, this smells like if you poured this for me, I might say nose alone. This is wild. And this is Georgia, by the and way. And also, I've had you know a few, so let's take that with a grain of salt. But so. if you gave this to me, double blind, double blind, blind, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Biweekly. I don't know what it is at all. I might guess like. I wouldn't know what to guess, so I think yeah. I might just nose alone. Would you say Stag Jr.? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I think. <laughs> Reese yeah. BB. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Gramps is saying, I don't have the barrel proof, and I, barrel proof and I live in Georgia. Yeah. Well, come on up. We'll give you a sample. <laughs> we have this one to share. That's right. Ooh, come on down. Uh -huh. Whoa. Dang. Whoa. That is... Yes. 135 point three. <laughs> <laughs> three. <laughs> no, but it uh, drinks more like a stag than an ECVP. It does. But it's in, it's sort of in that, it doesn't have it, it the is very much mouthfeel like I would an love, ECVP, but. Would love to do a blind with this Stag Junior Elijah Craig Barrel the, Proof. And what else would you guys throw in there? Because I'm thinking a, a Barrel Proof Flight Fight, this is a hmm. pretty solid one to throw in there. I mean, hell. Yeah. Let's throw this in there. I think this one would stick out because. Or it, maybe we have another one that's not the ease. Um, perfect. I think we should do that one. That is more around this proof. <laughs> Great. Um, so we'd have two smaller and then two established. We're going to get blind. Boom. We're like going to get wild on that flight fight. We're going to get wild. Um, I think that would be cool. I really like the Kings County barrel proof stuff. Oh, here you go. That's good info. From Brett. Saying uh, my bourbon journey, Drew P. Whiskey and Rocket Review, all Wisconsin guys. There Thanks. You go. Thank you. And a super I know it from... seems like we should know all of this, but it's hard to keep all that information oh, yeah. in your brain, and like everybody knows. If everyone's... I had all that information in my brain, I would forget how to drive. <laughs> super chat from James uh, saying 13 Colony Double Oak Batch Two will be out at the end of this month. Ooh. Please give me 10 plus years, 136 ish Ooh. proof again. Who do we need? I didn't to know call? about the age. I mean, I don't think this one's 10 plus, but could be. it's probably close. Uh, thank you, James, for that info and the super chat. And he, please. He paid to give you info. Someone get us that bottle. We're not saying. Best of the year contender. We're not just Would saying. Would you want to see 13 Colony potentially win best bourbon of the year? Can we clarify when you say please give me? What do you mean? Send it to me. For? For the, <laughs> for the best of the year contention. And you will give them? Hugs. No, and you will give them in exchange. Money. That's right. Money. He is not asking for handouts, <laughs> folks. Although a lot of you are very kind. Is this not that. clear? When you when you say just give me, <laughs> give it me. sounds like you're just saying give me. No, no, no. We'll, we'll pay for it. Yes, we will exchange or, funds or for goods. Or send you a bottle that maybe we can find that you can or something, whatever. We but, can do tradesies. Yeah. We can tradesies. do uh, whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Not it's bourbon at gmail.com. Not organs, though. I don't want to give. No organs. organs. No organs. Maybe. No black market stuff. Maybe a s kidney. Mm. No, no kidney. Okay. Do need a spleen. <laughs> what is a spleen? What does a sphincter do? Uh, you um, need that, Chad. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that gets used a lot. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this yeah. is very good. Actually, these are my two favorite pours of the night. The um, Kings County? Yes. <gasps> Knocked over a little littlest, Chad. Littlest Chad fell little over. Chad. This one and this one are yeah. my two favorites of the evening. I think this might have been our favorite if we'd gotten to it. But <gasps> this is the second time. No, I'm just kidding. But this is the second time that this has been Wait, available. If you're going to say that, I don't think you can say that and then just like not. You can't just say that, Chad. <laughs> you can't just be like, I think this would have been our favorite and then just not. I mean, it was in jest. but It was in jest. Not saying anything bad about Balcones. It's just this is a oh, celebrity. Oh, it wasn't Jess. <laughs> it wasn't germane to the topic. Um, you brought it up. You're the one who said. Here. It's just. This? Well. Just pour it. Okay. We'll just share. We don't need to. It's late. It was just the fact that. Oh, that had the old man of the mountain in it. Even dumping it out with water, I could still. I I made mine the dump cup. Um. It's just too many different flavors that aren't Whoa. telling. It's just too much. It's just too much, guys. Uh, I only say that because celebrity whiskeys have a bad reputation. That's true. Which is another thing that we're gonna 
Also, get to our version two of Part that episode. Part two of Celebrity Whiskeys. Now including every celebrity whiskey ever made under the sun. That can't be that accurate. Be accurate. No. Mm -hmm. But that's the only reason why I say that about this. This is ZZ Top. What celebrity whiskeys do you like? They are the <laughs> Trace Hombres of Trace Hombres Balcones. Let me give you the specs. I think I have their stuff pulled up too. My goodness, you sure do have a lot. I sure do. All right. Uh, 100 proof, four years, undisclosed ratios of roasted blue corn, malted barley, and rye. It is $60 back in 2022. That's just last year. That's just last year, folks. Back in my day. Back in my day. Back in 2022. So, Let's we got it. this in Austin, Texas, when we were down there for the Bastards Ball. Do we do a hunting video about it that? Was. It, it was. was this is the one that we picked up in the hunting video, and we're just now getting around to it. Don't Welcome to our lives. Mind us. We just do things in our own time. That's right. So. So. <laughs> so. Yeah. No. I mean, that tastes like an IPA. That's like the IPA of bourbon. When I met Chad, he gave me lots of hugs. Now I know I was only used. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. It's just not what we. It's not these two. And it tastes like um, grape, grapefruit, grass, um, dark chocolate, dark dark chocolate with uh, spice. Oh yeah, like a mm -hmm. pe peppery mole or whatever dark chocolate. I mean, I'll give it um, to Balcones. They have sort of like their own. They have their own thing, thing going on. Yeah, for sure. But when I just meant no in terms of. When you said this will be the this would have been the best thing we tasted all night, and I said no in response to that, not no, yes. not that. Yeah. Um. It, I like the flavors. It's very. It's... Hey, Todd Ross, just watch that video. Oh well, look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that synergy. <laughs> no, Sarah likes malt. You like malt. Mm. He's saying you don't like it because it's malt. I like malt. Yeah. Um. It is a lot of malt, and I can taste that. Yeah. I can taste that too. It's the, um, what oh, did I just I like say? Oh yeah, the, right. the spiced dark chocolate is mm -hmm. giving me like the malt notes. Uh, it's sort of Whoppers. Is this kind whoppers. of Whoppers? Mm -hmm. But I still get like an, like that IPA, like that after mm -hmm. yeah. taste when you drink an IPA that is like grapefruit and grass. And I get that on this. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I like an IPA sometimes. Um, it's just, those are the flavors. Gramps, you need to try Whiskey Drummer. From um, uh, Pat chord. Benatar's husband. Three chord. From three Don't chord. even start. It's time to wrap it up. Yeah. You're out of control. You're out of order. You're out of order. I object. Hmm. Yeah. I mean. Motion dismissed. Okay. <laughs> it, it's 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 good, but it's not it's not. The best of the evening. I, I, it's not these. I think, yeah, those two. I, these and, are in my vote to go right there. No. Okay. If I was judging based on um, merit, like film critic. Okay. Okay. We're gonna it go. Thanks. Cinematic merit versus personal favorite. Okay. Cinematic merit, personal favorite. So I recognize that this one is probably slightly better composed. But that one has a but soft spot. But this one spot. has a soft spot in my heart. Okay, I get it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like when people say Citizen Kane's their favorite movie. Well, well, no, it's more like when people say, what's one of your favorite movies? And you say Three Amigos. That's not winning any Academy Awards. Correct. But it's got a soft spot in my heart because My Little Buttercup has the sweetest smile. But I think people can appreciate a movie like Citizen Kane for what it did for, this is our film classes talking, please ignore us, um, for what it did for the industry as a whole, it changed the game. Mm -hmm. But is anybody watching that as their comfort movie? When you're sick, is that what you're putting on? No. No, it's Weekend at Bernie's. Right, or like whatever. so it's like, what do you recognize as the best movie ever made versus what's your favorite movie? I always said... Uh, this Orange, is where we go off into the... Orange County was a movie Orange. that <laughs> I could Do I need to turn on your computer? Will you go to the door and see if the mail has come? Do, do I, need I need to turn, turn on, on your, your computer? computer? Orange no, County is... No, Lance, just go to just the go door to the and see if the mail has come. Orange uh, County. Orange County, man. Five uh, out of five. Five, yes. Is a movie that I always said... If I ever wrote a movie that became a movie, it would have been 
like wrote a script that became a movie. script wrote a script that became a movie. It would be I, Orange I, County. I could have seen it being Orange County. That was like that. Yeah, I would have been very proud to be like, yes, I made this movie. This is mine. Not winning any Academy Awards, but like, mm, so good. So you get it. Yeah. We can recognize the difference between when I say something is well composed is probably better composed product versus what's my favorite. It means different things. Like I recognize that this has probably got more age. I don't think it did. I like the proof. It is really nice, but see, people love the cinema analogies. This one feels like home. It just feels very good to me. Caddyshack, be the ball, be the ball. I drank it. No, 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 Yeah, you get it. Yeah. No, we all recognize Orange like County sometimes. It's fantastic. I love Never Ending Story when I don't feel good. That movie's False not going to win anything. False advertising. It ended. It ended. And I wanted my money also, back. Also, like, I don't know, watching it now, it, 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 there are parts when I'm like, for a children's movie? Really? It's dark. Shadow Facts. Well, no, Shadow Facts. Um, the no, Nothing. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Oh, the horse. the horse. Let's not, let's not go there. Let's not. Yeah. You had to do that, didn't you? I did. Okay. Now I have to go. I'm gonna <laughs> cry again. Yeah. Casablanca, best movie ever. Casablanca, in the running for the best new little noir. Pick ever. Pick ever. You know. I don't think it, I don't think that would win. I think it would be a dame to drink for, or maybe, the wheat smell like success. Personally. Great. Probably a dame to drink for though. I'm not sure. I okay. think I've reached my limit mm. for being a. Uh, Videoed while drinking. <laughs> Videoed while drinking. True, we've reached our camera threshold. So I just go quiet. Yeah. Um next Sunday? Okay. I wanna leave that open ended. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah. Because we will be doing uh Bourbon Fest Thursday, Friday. You will be doing it Saturday. I will be in a wedding. Rehearsal dinner Friday, wedding Saturday. Mm -hmm. We may or may not be doing Bourbon Fest again on Sunday, depending on what shape we're in after three days of that. Yes. And we have events all day on Thursday leading up to Bourbon Fest. So we are, we're working like 10 to 10 on Thursday, which is fine. No complaints. It's all going to be fun. Um, however, at the end of the day on Sunday, I don't know if I will just fall into bed or what's yeah. going to happen. So tentatively? TBD on Sunday's live. Um, I want to do yeah. that, but I don't know if I can commit to that at this point. Correct. Correct. I might be dead. I'm yeah. not sure. I don't know if my liver can handle drinking anymore <laughs> that weekend. Is that a nice thing to say? Yeah. I don't know. Also, just real quickly, I want to say that you took me to Monty Python and the Holy Grail at uh, the Kentucky Theater. Uh, so we saw it uh, in, in the theater again, which I hadn't done since high school, which was very nice. My Python and Holy Oh, Grail. I was like, where did that come from? From JJ's comment. <laughs> gotcha. It did do that. It yeah. was date night. Yeah. And I thought we would so. do something you wanted to do. It's true. So I'm still going to put up. Ask Chad about what's my date night. Hold him accountable. <laughs> I already know what it is. I'm not going to tell him. All right. Him. Well, knowing what it is and doing I is know. different things. That's true. All right, I'm still going to put the thing up that says, thank you for watching. We'll see you next Sunday. But we, that is up for debate. We might see you next Sunday. Carrot might see you next Sunday. Yeah, Carrot. Um, so we'll see you then. Until then, bye-bye, everybody. Bye.